love you. Have a great day. Second to last day, 23. Comes out a Christmas tree. Another one. More exciting than the advent calendar, the entrance to Legoland is coming together a little bit. Clark's working on a water park. All of this is happening on our Lego channel, which you should subscribe to. How many times do I have to tell you? They're like, I, I actually like that channel better. I'm leaving this channel. I'm like, no, we stay at both. There's our new shelf waiting to be filled. We'll never run out of space for builds ever again. I wouldn't go that far. Space is the enemy of every Lego collector, Clark, man. Mm -hmm. And money, time, and the biggest obstacle of all, wives. Oh no. Yeah, space, money, time, wives. The four obstacles of every <laughs> Lego collector. And any collector of things in general, there's a tree. <laughs> Fruity oh. pebbles coming through. So nutritious and yeah. delicious. The start of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself? Hmm? Hmm? What do you want? Alright, gotta see what's what? for lunch today. There's nothing up here. Nothing up there for bears. Chicken fries mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Even more Legoing has been accomplished. It's school time though. We gotta go. We thought yesterday was cold. Today is colder. Not the best idea to wear Crocs today. I feel the wind coming through my holes. <laughs> my gate's open. Logan was wearing Crocs yesterday. Does he wear Crocs every day this year? He's the man. That sounds like a bus. I, don't know. I love you, buddy. I oh my gosh, you. my eyes are watering. It's so darn cold out here. I know. I'm crying because my son's leaving. <laughs> No boy. Not because it's cold. Not because it's cold. I'm only crying because it's cold. Coming in hot. All right, buddy. I love you. Have fun today. I like to do little improvements every day. And here's mine for today. This this latch has come off, and we were just using this little lock thing to keep this closed. And in high winds, that's not ideal. So I'm fixing it. Got it all tightened up. Let's do a test. Perfect. Hi, chickens! There you go. <laughs> they love their corn. I'm back to the editing grind on our Aquatopia video, and we've got a visitor here with us. It was a little cold outside, so I thought maybe Mellow Cat would like to come in and hang out for a bit. We got Miss Jealous over here, too. Anytime I give the cat attention, it's like, well, what about me? Oh, look at that little creature. Oh, she's just the best kitty in the world. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that kitty. Oh, look at that kitty. <laughs> you are the most jealous thing. You don't have to have all the attention, Roxy Bear. Why all the attention? Hmm? You already get so much. Can't Mello have just a little scrap? A little scrap of attention from the dad? Hmm? No? Okay. <laughs> Roxy does get pretty annoyed with Mello, though, because she rubs all over her, especially when she's laying down. <laughs> Roxy starts growling. I made Mello a little spot on the couch here with my sweatshirt. I don't know if you'll stay or not. There's a little spot for you. A little toasty little spot. No? No, not staying there? Okay. Mello's just down here literally rubbing every single thing in the entire place. You're probably not going to believe this, but it is 4 o'clock. I did that Aquatopia video, and then this afternoon I got inspired by a viewer that requested a tour of my studio, and I did just that, a 30 some odd minute, almost 30 minute tour. So not only did I edit 33 minutes of Aquatopia today, I also shot and edited 30 minutes of me going around this place, which if you'd like to see that video, I'll do a community post on it, so you might have already seen it, but I'll I'll link it somewhere up here if I remember as well, so you can, you can watch it if you'd like to see all the things down here that uh, you'd like to see in more detail. But uh, Clark Man is basically coming home. I think maybe these no zero days at this point, we might just start putting them together into like, here's my week, because today was just, uh, it was a work day, and that doesn't really make for interesting content for you. Uh, but just know that it wasn't a zero day, because I got a lot done. Uh, There's just zero interest, interesting content. <laughs> garage door open, Clark, man. Oh, it's so cold out there, holy smokes. I am gonna have to venture out there though because we were having steak salads for dinner and uh, I like to cook those babies on the grill. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that started right now. Shake hog. School bus is here, Clark, man's home. I was grabbing a little sweatshirt to put on because it's chilly in general. How is school? I saw that you forgot your folder. Right after you left, I was like, oh, sugar shack. I, I, I'm fine. I yeah, fine. I was like, should I drive it in or you think I, it'll be I, okay? I, I was 
wondering if you're going to drive him. I'm like, is he going to drive it in? I felt like that would be a little much to drive that all the way to the school. Just so I can have a folder. Luckily, I, we have like different folders at our desk, so okay. we're good. Good. Acknowledge that bear. That's the first thing you must do when you walk in. Acknowledge me, Clark man. Acknowledge. Oh, poor bear. And now she's gonna step on my homework. Great. It's like the dog ate my homework, but it's the dog stepped on my homework instead. This is my go to sneezing for sakes. I love the Jack Daniels steak season. I'm gonna write down the pages. Okay, write that down. Write that down. At least somebody acknowledges her. Clark's literally, like, she's in Clark's face, and he's not like... I got looks on my face. Come on. You deserve it. I'm just going to read five more pages. Oh, my gosh. I'm chilled to the bone. It is brutally cold out there. <laughs> Perfect salad. Although I'm missing pickled eggs, so I'm hard boiling some regular eggs. It's the best I can do. Steaks are about to go on. Cody, can, she's gonna customize her salad. I just kinda got like a base one there for her. But man, that's a thing of beauty right there. Add some steak in, boom! Also, Roxy Bear got her dinner, finally. She's happy for a couple seconds. The little turkeys are getting so big that I almost can't tell them apart from the big ones. All the big ones are in right now, by the way. We got three, four, five, six. Look how big they're getting, though. That's crazy. Woo! A little fire never hurt anybody. Steaks are done. Mellow Cat's screaming. Okay, that's a nice mission accomplished there. Look how cute our neighbor's house is. That looks nice. These guys even have a little bit of lights. Our house. Yeah, <laughs> not so much. You can't see our Christmas tree, though. There's nothing in the mailbox. Go back and count your kids. It's always weird where the mail people put our stuff. One time it's at the front door. One time it's in the garage. It's in the mailbox. Supposedly we have something out here. Huh? Uh huh. I wonder what that is. It's a box. Oh, dude. Uh, microgreens. I'll make a whole series of videos about that. Mm -hmm. Smart hydroponic system. Grow some greens, baby. Cool. I decided my life was a little bit too easy for me, so I decided to play some more Pocky and Rocky Reshrined to get humbled a little bit by this very challenging game that looks like it's made for kids, but it's... It's brutal. Fire! Oh, that's a good power up right there, dude. Look at that. Fire and leaves. Like they're bombs. Let me grab this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's a good one. Hmm. I'm going to die to you guys, aren't I? I'm at such a massive disadvantage because I'm going into the boss with, like, no health. Just, I have one heart left. And I don't think it's looking good for me. Oh! <sighs> Just got to the boss! 